Hello everyone, welcome to the WP Carousel Pro Plugin video tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how to configure the lightbox settings for the images. So this is the lightbox. A lightbox is an overlay or a pop-up window that goes over the website and shows a picture. They showcase the picture and darken the rest of the pages but still it allows to be visible around the edges. They are a great way to showcase photos and products. Make sure the WP Carousel Pro plugin is installed and activated into your site. You can directly click on add new or you can click all carousels and then click add new to create a new carousel and give it a title. Let's add a few images to create a carousel. Below that you will find several configuration tabs. Navigate to the lightbox settings and the first option you will get is lightbox icon style. Click show preview and when you hover over a photo you can see the lightbox icon appeared. There are several options to choose. If I choose this one and update the preview, then you can see the lightbox icon has been changed. Click on the icon and you can see the larger size of the image is showing in the lightbox. Set a lightbox icon display position from several options. By default the option is set to middle. If I set it to top right and update the preview, then you can see the icon is showing at the top right position of the image. You can also change the lightbox icon size and color as you like. Change the image icon overlay color from here. So this is the image icon overlay color. If I change it to this one and update the preview, then you can see the color has been changed. Check the box to disable image hover overlay on the mobile devices. Change the overlay background color from here. I'm talking about this overlay background color. If I change it to this one and update the preview and open the light box then you can see the overlay background color has been changed. Show hide the image caption and description from the light box. By default the image caption has been shown in the light box. If I open the light box and you can see the image caption is showing right here. If I hide it and update the preview then you can see the caption is not showing anymore. When you show the image caption and description, you can change the caption and description color as you like. Next one is image counter. Open the light box and this is the image counter. You can show or hide it using this option. Enable this option to automatically start slideshow in the light box. Let's enable it and update the preview. Open the light box and hold for a few seconds. You can see the sliding starts automatically. Enable or disable the gallery loop in the light box. Select a transition effect between the slides. By default it is satisfied. Let's change it to slide and update the preview. Open the light box. Now if I click on the navigation, you can see this is how the slide transition effect works. Next one is keyboard navigation. When you open the light box, you can navigate the images through the keyboard. Open the light box. And you can see here is my mouse pointer. I am navigating the images through the keyboard. So you can enable or disable the keyboard navigation option from here. Change the lightbox navigation arrow color, hover color, background color and hover background color from here. Show or hide the lightbox bottom thumbnail gallery icon from here. If I open the lightbox, this is the bottom thumbnail gallery icon. If I hide the option and update the preview, you can see the bottom thumbnail gallery icon disappeared. Next one is bottom thumbnail gallery visibility. You can show or hide it from here. So this is the bottom thumbnail gallery. If I disable this option and update the preview, open the light box, then you can see bottom thumbnails gallery are not showing anymore. Show or hide zoom full screen, slideshow play button, social share button, download button, close button from here. Update the preview. Open the light box and you can see at the top right corner all the options are available. This is the zoom button. This is the full screen button. This is the slideshow autoplay button. This is the social share button. When you click on it, you can share the image through Facebook, Twitter and Pinterest. You can also copy the link and share it to anyone. 
this is the download button this is the bottom thumbnail gallery button and this is the close button so you can show or hide them as you like using those options from here next one is overlay or outside close enable the option to close the light box when someone click outside the image and content or dark overlay select an opening or closing animation type from several options by default it is set as zoom if i set it to circular and update the preview open the light box then you can see this is how the circular animation works last one is protect image enable the option to protect your image downloading from right click if i open the light box again and right click on the mouse you can see it is showing me an option to save the image now if i enable the option and update the preview and open the light box and right click on the mouse then i am unable to right click on the mouse because I have enabled the image protection option. That's all about configuring the WP Carousel Pro Lightbox settings. I hope you have got a clear idea about it. In the next video, I will come up with another attractive feature of the plugin. Until then, take care.